the Christians pounded their way across the Holy Land, converting all in their wake. In one hand, the good book. In the other, a pillowcase full of doorknobs. Oh, hi there, buddy. <coughs> <laughs> Okay, Frank, we need to have a serious talk. Oh, sure, buddy. What's going on? Look, I'm sorry, but I, um, I think it's time that you left. What? But, but Erwin, I live here. You see, Frank, that's just a problem. You don't live here anymore. You don't live anywhere anymore. Y you don't live, period. You're dead. What are you talking about, Erwin? I just mopped. No, Frank, you've been dead for about eight months. Oh shit, do I need to mop again? No, Frank. What you need to do is leave, because you smell like a trash bag full of fish cooking on the pavement on a hot summer's day. Well, that's very descriptive. Yes, Frank, because I've had eight months to come up with that analogy. Now get the motherfuck out. How could you say that to your best friend? Well, because you're not really my best friend anymore. You're more like an organ blimp putrefying on my couch. Can't you just give me more time? Sorry, Frankie, the morning period has a shelf life, and this one's been in the dumpster for seven months, you know. We, we've all had our time to grieve, we've all deleted you from our phone contacts, now it's time to hit the trail. But can't you just give me some time to find somewhere else to live? Well, you see, there's really no point in finding another place to live when you cease to. I mean, what you should be looking for is probably like a, I don't know, like a dank hole in the ground to continue putrefaction in. Okay, buddy, I can take a hint. I haven't been hinting at anything. I've been actively telling you that you smell like the diaper squeezings of an indigent and you need to fucking leave. But, but... Look, Frank, I'll be honest. When you were alive, things were great. You know, you were you were drawing breath and helping pay rent. But now you've been dead just long enough for most people, your mother included, to go days without even thinking about you. I need someone new to help me foot the bill around here, and I've been speaking to this nice girl I met down at the Starbucks about moving in. There's a woman in your life now! Yes, Frank, there is. And to be quite honest, I would really enjoy fucking her on this couch. And I just can't do that with you sitting here collecting moss. D do you feel me? Well, if that's really how you feel, just give me a moment to collect my worldly possessions. And then I'll get out of your hair. Well, Frank, had you been in attendance at your funeral, you would know that we had an estate sale where we sold your worldly possessions to people still of this world. You're dead. Get out of my house. Uh, could I at least have a hug? Uh, sure, I, I guess. Alright, Frank, you can let go now. Well, I'm sorry, Aaron. I think the rigor mortis is set in. What? No, dude, get the fuck off me. You aftershave smells very nice, Aaron. And vaguely familiar. Did you pill for my belongings? Well, yeah, I mean, like, you're not using them anymore, man. I'm beginning to doubt the validity of this friendship, Aaron. Like this bitch! Subscribe! Oh, yeah!